The trial of Lev Derman gets underway on January 27th in the U.S. District Court of Utah. The Armenian-American businessman was issued with a Belizean nationality certificate under the name Levon Termenzian in 2013. The case is receiving international coverage because it involves massive corruption in tax credits spanning the United States, Russia, Panama, and Turkey. Derman, the highly connected defendant, is accused of money laundering, bribery, fraud, and a slew of other offenses amounting to 511 million U.S. dollars. At the center of the case is Washaki Renewable Energy, a biofuel enterprise. Now, one of Derman's former partners, Jacob Kingston, has taken a plea deal and is providing information that will be presented as evidence during the trial. Kingston will testify that a government official from Belize was routinely paid $25,000 in cash monthly by Derman. When he could not make the payments himself, Kingston would make the payments on Derman's behalf. In February 2014, on at least one occasion upon Derman's request, Kingston arranged for a cash payment through an associate. In June 2013, Kingston electronically wired funds to another Belizean government official at Derman's request. Derman is believed to have used his connections in Belize in an effort to seek an appointment as honorary consul for Belize in Las Vegas, but the United States rejected that application. Derman is also said to have been pursuing an ambassadorial appointment in Turkey. That too did not happen, despite at least three ministers pushing for it, and notwithstanding Derman's wide circle in Belize. But back to the court papers. It is a complicated matter, with a labyrinth of documents on the scheme involving Derman, along with Jacob Kingston and his brother Isaiah, both polygamists in Utah. The list of exhibits to be presented in court include text messages between Jacob Kingston and John Saldivar, in which Kingston, quote, will lay the foundation for the text he sent to and received from this particular Belizean associate of the defendant, unquote, that being Derman. There were also email correspondences from one Amy Peterson to Jacob Kingston regarding banking application for Lions Gaming in Belize. We have been able to confirm that Lions Gaming is a company registered in Belize as an online gambling business. The connection to Belize is being used to establish the wide-scale pattern of bribery and money laundering. There is more, but that is what we have sifted through so far from a trove of documents. So. Minister Saldivar's name is now documented as part of text messages to be brought to trial, where further details are expected to emerge on Derman's connections in Cabinet. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.